What's up everyone, I'm SheWolf. Today on Gamers Knows Best, I'm bringing you another indie discussion. This week it's Stardust Galaxy Warrior. Alright, so let's get into the video. Stardust Galaxy Warrior Stellar Climax is an engaging one to four player couch co-op game. It is developed by Dream Loop Games. It was first released on Steam back in 2015 and then later released on Xbox One in September 2016. Alright, so let's jump into the game. Now, right off the bat, there's actually five playable warriors that you can play, each having their own special abilities and special weapons. There's actually up to 49 unique combinations in addition to different upgrades and power types to help you on your way. Now, for an indie game, this game has a lot that you can do with 10 level campaign, which actually has a really good story, endless gauntlet mode that actually progressively gets harder as you play. There's also challenge modes. The only issue that I did actually have with this game is the fact that it was couch co-op and you couldn't actually play with your friends online. Now, of course, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with couch co-op, it just would have been nice. Also, playing by yourself is really not all that bad. This game has an amazing soundtrack, which just keeps you pulled in as you're fighting through each of the levels anyway. So with an amazing soundtrack, there's also amazing graphics. Now, when it comes to the graphics of this game, there's so much details that you can see, whether it's in space or whether you're actually on Earth or no matter where you are, or even in the Christmas scene. With each unique boss, there's always something different. However, it is still the same gameplay, which makes things interesting because it still keeps pulling you into play each time, giving you different enemies, different bosses, but still the same style of gameplay. But that's okay for games like these because that's what you expect. You expect to be able to just go through, fight, and then move on to the next level. But as I was saying about the graphics, there's so much detail, whether you're looking at the water or whether you're just looking at the rocks that are coming at you in space. There was a lot of thought and detail put into this game, and that I give them credit for. As I said about the gameplay, you're really doing the same thing. You're just simply moving through the level, fighting each character. However, the one thing that makes it so interesting is the fact that you're always on the move and you always have to stay clear because there's always something coming at you. Alright, so in all, this game is really not for everybody, but I definitely have to say it is an amazing action shooter combined with shoot 'em up brawler gameplay with a really nice touch of RPG element to it. I do recommend this game, it is definitely worth the price, and it always has something for you to constantly keep doing, and you can always keep fighting even if you want to just go and listen to the soundtrack and just sit back and shoot things. Alright, so there you guys go, this is Stardust Galaxy Warrior Stellar Climax. I do definitely recommend this game as I said because this is definitely a game that is fun, the story has humor, and you can always go back and always play this game again because it's just one of those type of games that you're able to just constantly go through and see how many times you can beat it and get through each of the levels. Alright, so if you've had a chance to play Stardust Galaxy Warriors, please make sure you leave a comment below and tell us about your experience about playing this game and if you would recommend it. As always, make sure you please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.